Hi everyone, we are here to talk about newbie bike number 15, Functions Part 2. In the first video, we really focused on the syntax of functions, and today I wanted to focus on the purpose of functions. The first idea is this idea of reusability. If you find yourself repeating the same idea or the same action over and over again, it's probably time to make a function and just call the function instead. The second idea is this idea of mental organization. Essentially, functions are a way to name an idea so that you can forget about all of the little details and just focus on your code from a high level viewpoint. I put together a little example and let's see what that looks like. So if you've ever seen the movie Monty Python and the Holy Grail, this might seem a little familiar. There's a scene in the movie where a group of travelers comes across a troll at a bridge and the troll asks them three questions. Our program asks for their name, it asks for your favorite color, and it asks for your quest. So you'll notice that this program uses only the ideas that we've covered so far in the newbie bytes. We're taking input from the user, we're printing things to the screen, and then we're using F strings, and we're actually using a string method right here, just to capitalize the, the color in case the user didn't do it themselves. There's really three main ideas happening here. The first idea is telling the user, okay, uh, I'm going to ask you three questions. Let me know when you're ready to begin. The second idea that I notice here is you're actually asking the questions. And then we're saying goodbye. We're going to see if we can use functions to mentally organize our code and help us understand at a high level what this is actually doing. Let's start with our first function. Let's call this welcome. And then, of course, let's indent. If I were to run my program now, however, we'll see that the welcome doesn't actually print. That's because we haven't called the function. We've only created the function. In order to get this to work, we actually need to call the function by writing the function name and following it with a set of parentheses. Let's work on the next one. And I can actually see here that we might need an additional function. We're storing the name in a name object. We're printing it here, but then we're also using it in the goodbye. Maybe what we should do here is have a get name function. Which is just this part of it. And let's actually return the name. And then we have the remaining two questions. And finally, we have our goodbye function. However, we need to be able to pass in the name as a, an argument so that we can actually print it out. I'm going to put all of these function calls at the bottom. So I have my welcome. Then we're going to need to store the name. So I'm going to store this as the traveler object. And we're going to call get name. Then we have two questions. And finally, goodbye. We've created the welcome function, and then we called it here. We created the get name function, and we assigned it into the object traveler. Then we created the two questions function, which asked the remaining two questions, and we've called it. And then finally, we use the traveler's name that we stored here on line 26, passed it as a parameter for the goodbye function, and now our program should work as before. Now that we've finished putting everything into functions, let's think about what this actually does for us. Each component of my program is saved separately. So if I want to start adding some more functionality, maybe the troll starts interacting more with the two questions, I don't have to worry at all about the welcome, about getting the username, or about saying goodbye. I can focus all of my mental energy onto the code that deals with the two questions. Really what this allows me to do is forget about the details of what's happening in each of the other functions and just focus on the thing that I'm trying to change or enhance. Hopefully this was helpful. Good luck with today's bike.